What's up guys, Michael Kamalu here, AKA Dr. Gaines. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to hit all three glute muscles in a single combo exercise. Now, if you don't know your anatomy, you may think, well, that's easy. I mean, just do some deep squats or some hip thrusters and it's bound to hit all the muscles in there, right? Well, you'd be wrong because unlike gluteus maximus, the other two glute muscles are not activated with hip extension. In fact, in order to hit both the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, you need to abduct and externally rotate the leg. However, most of the glute workouts you see out there will only do one motion. In fact, most of them only do extension of the leg at the hip. There's a few out there that will combine two motions, either extension and abduction or extension and external rotation, but this exercise will show you how to incorporate all three. First, I'll show you how it's done, and then we'll dive into the anatomy to find out how and why it works. To perform this exercise, you'll need a cable system along with a cuff attachment, which you'll place around the ankle of the leg that's farthest away from the cable. Then, you will alternate between two motions. For the first, you'll abduct your outside leg while standing straight up and keeping both knees locked. And for the second, you'll drop down into a single leg squat on the leg closest to the cable while you externally rotate or laterally rotate the opposite leg. Then you'll stand back up and repeat, alternating between the two motions. To understand why this exercise is so effective and efficient in working the three glute muscles, we first need to understand the anatomy. If you put your hand on your hip and press, you'll be able to feel a bone. That bone is called the ilium, and it's what you see right here on Mr. Bones. And the largest of the three muscles, the gluteus maximus, originates along the medial side of the ilium, medial meaning closer in towards the center of the body. It also has origination fibers along the sacrum and the coccyx. And then it inserts down on the back of the femur on what's called the gluteal tuberosity. So what does it do when it contracts? Well, it does a couple different things. First, because the origination fibers are above the insertion points when they contract, it'll pull the femur back and up. And that's what we call extension of the leg at the hip. And because many of the fibers are also medial to the insertion point and behind or posterior to the insertion point, they're going to pull back and in. And that results in external rotation, also called lateral rotation of the leg at the hip. So one way to work gluteus maximus, an easy way, is actually just lift your foot up off the ground and then point your toes laterally. Just point them to the side as far as you can go and relax, rotate them again, and you're gonna feel that contraction in gluteus maximus. And then for the third motion, because some of the fibers are on the lateral side of the body and above the insertion point, they will pull up and to the side, and that is abduction of the leg. However, of the three motions, its primary role is extension of the leg at the hip. So in the combo exercise, when you are down in that single leg squat, both holding that position and extending back upwards, you're nailing gluteus maximus. Next, let's take a look at gluteus medius. It lies somewhat underneath gluteus maximus, but also farther out to the side or more lateral. And you'll see that because its origination fibers are on the lateral aspect of the ilium. And then it inserts down on this bony knob here. It's called the greater trochanter of the femur. So when it contracts, since it's on the lateral side of the body and the origination fibers are above the insertion point on the lateral side, it's going to pull up and to the side. So the gluteus medius is actually the primary abductor of the leg at the hip. So if you really want to hit 
the gluteus medius, you want to be able to place a significant amount of resistance on abduction of the leg without incorporating external rotation as well, which we'll get to in a bit, but we want to isolate it as much as possible. And the best way to get abduction of the leg without also externally rotating it or extending your hip is standing completely straight with your hip straight and your knees locked and abducting your leg out to the side. And so that's why in this exercise, one of the two positions that you're alternating between is standing up completely straight with the knee locked and abducting your leg. During that movement, you are really nailing the gluteus medius in the most isolated way possible. There is actually another role for the gluteus medius that very few people know of. And if you take a look at the muscle from the side, you'll see that many of the fibers are not only anterior to the origination point, they're closer to the front of the body, and they're also more medial to the insertion point, closer to the middle of the body. So when those fibers contract, it actually brings the leg out and in front of you and towards the center of your body, and that's called internal rotation or medial rotation, which is literally the opposite of what gluteus maximus does. It's an example of why it's so important and beneficial to understand anatomy because you wouldn't think that two muscles that have the same name, they're both gluteus muscles, they have completely opposite roles when you look at specific motions that they do. So when you're done rotating your toes laterally to work gluteus maximus, you can start rotating them internally and you'll be able to work gluteus medius. Finally, let's get into the gluteus minimus. Now, some of you may think that because it's so small and underneath the other muscles, it's not worth your time. However, not only is it a very important muscle functionally, but because it is underneath the others, it plays a significant role in the thickness of the glutes overall. There's a similar concept with the calves. Most people only focus on working the gastrocnemius because that's what's on the surface. And so they believe, oh, that's all that matters. That's what's going to be seen. However, the bulk of the calf muscle is actually made up by the soleus, which lies underneath the gastroc. And so in building the soleus, you get better, thicker calves overall. Similar concept here with the glutes. Like the other two, the gluteus minimus originates on the ilium, just a little further down, and then like gluteus medius, it inserts down here on the greater trochanter of the femur, this big knob, but farther towards the front, or more anterior, and that's important functionally, as we'll see in a minute. Because some of the fibers of the gluteus minimus are above the insertion point, and it's laterally displaced, it will do some abduction of the leg. However, because the insertion point is more anterior or more lateral than the other muscles, and because the origination points are so much more medial or towards the middle of the body, it's going to have its primary role be external rotation of the leg. It's going to pull medially and backwards on the femur and externally rotate or laterally rotate the leg. That is its primary role. And the best way to put significant resistance on the external rotation motion of your leg at the hip is with a bent hip and bent knee. In that position, you can really put a significant amount of resistance in that lateral rotation of the leg. And that's why it's incorporated in this exercise. The second of the two different alternating positions that you do, you're going to be squatted down where your leg is bent at the hip and your knee is bent with the cable attached right here on your ankle. And you're going to be externally rotating that leg pulling against the resistance. And when you're in that motion, you're going to be nailing primarily gluteus minimus.
So to summarize, in this exercise, you're hitting gluteus maximus by forcing extension of the leg when you're doing that single leg squat on the leg that's closest to the cable. You're hitting gluteus medius when you're doing the standing up abduction of the leg. And you're hitting gluteus minimus when you are doing the bent external rotation of the leg. Now to be clear, there's a lot more muscles involved. You're not completely isolating those, I don't know, each gluteus muscle with each one of those workouts, each one of those positions. However, they are the best position you can do in order to isolate them as much as possible and make sure that you're getting a good workout on all three of those muscles. I will give you two tips on this exercise that should help you make it as effective as possible. First, if you try to do completely unassisted single leg squats while the other is doing abduction and rotation, the leg that's sitting in that squat is going to tire a lot more quickly than the outside leg. And so I recommend supporting yourself by holding onto the cable or whatever you can that's nearby and hold yourself up just enough that you're able to get a really good workout on the leg that's doing the external rotation and abduction before the leg that's doing the squats completely tires out. And obviously make sure that you are switching which side you're doing the standing up and squatting versus abduction and external rotation so that you're hitting both sides equally. And then second, after you have this motion down, try implementing a slight rotation when you're doing the external rotation. So what I mean by that is when you are going down into that single leg squat, instead of staying with your body faced you know, sideways or, or perpendicular to the cable, turn and face the cable slightly. And what that's going to do is it's going to change the angle of resistance to more directly oppose the lateral rotation aspect. You're changing the resistance from coming you know, directly from the side of you to now the resistance is coming from in front of you and to the side. And that angle is the best in order to get the most resistance possible on that external rotation motion and therefore on gluteus medius. Try this out on your next leg day and I promise it will leave your glutes burning so badly that you won't be able to sit for a week. If you like this video, I'd appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we've barely scratched the surface of everything that I have coming out and you won't want to miss any of it. If you have any content requests, I'll leave a form in the description of the video below you can use to request any exercises or muscles or injuries that you want me to go over. And if you're really serious about your health and fitness and you want to jump into one of my full online programs, I'll also leave the link in the video description for you to register for those. Mahalo my friends, until next time. <music>